Hi everyone and welcome to another video from Danka Praktik. This video is the first in a series of videos where you can see how to save energy within your household. These tips are in most cases cheap, simple and easy to apply. In this part we'll be talking about how to save energy on lighting. So stay tuned. Danka Praktik When talking about energy or rather the lack of we must mention our video about how to prepare and get through power outages also known as blackouts. Click on the card in the corner to watch the video. This is the first and easiest way to save energy on lighting. Simply watch how you use the lights. Most of us don't pay attention to this and leave the lights on all night or even during the day. In the long run this is a huge and unnecessary waste of energy. The remedy for this is simple, just pay some attention to use the lights when you really need them and more importantly don't forget to flip the switch when you're leaving. Instead of making a light show every night, use the lights when you really need them. If you have problems applying the first tip, then this one should help. By applying sensors you don't have to worry about accidentally leaving the lights on all the time. We would recommend using two sorts of sensors, which are the most common and widespread, light and motion sensors. Light sensors turn on the lights once it's dark and turn it off when the sun comes out. Motion sensors activate light once you pass by them. These sensors can be bought separately, but like in this case you can buy a light bulb that already has a sensor built in, which is very practical for installing, but also for replacement. LED bulbs and appliances are very popular and have all but replaced the old fashioned filament ones. LEDs are way more efficient but also more long lasting. You can buy LED bulbs almost everywhere but also various lighting appliances that already have LEDs built in. What's even more convenient, you can buy them with different variants of lighting, you can even find a match for the old filament bulb, so you won't notice the difference. The best effect with LEDs is made when you change all the light bulbs within the household. How many watts the bulb uses is the measure for how much energy it consumes. More watts means more energy consumption. This is especially noticeable if you use filament bulbs. With LEDs it's much less noticeable but nevertheless paying some attention will help. A good practice is to use light bulbs with more watts where you really need them, like in the living room or kitchen, for instance. In less used rooms, like the cellar, bedroom or else, use bulb with less watts. This is another tip that will save energy in the long run. For the last tip, and perhaps the most easiest, use what mother nature gave us for free, and that is sunlight. Let the sunlight in the room as much as possible. Don't be lazy, move the curtains, blinds or else and avoid turning on the lights as much as possible. This is not only energy efficient but is also more healthier for your household. Also keep the windows clean as much as possible as this will additionally help the sunlight get through. To conclude, perhaps the best way to save energy on lighting is to change your old filament bulbs with new LED ones. Besides this, an additional great thing to do is to use the lights when you really need them instead of making a light show every night. Also, know that, as with all energy savings, it will take some time to notice the difference in gain, especially the economic one. You certainly won't get rich by doing this. But, and this is from experience, after a couple of months of saving energy on lighting, you will start noticing a somewhat lower electricity bill. Little by little, you will start to save money and more importantly mother nature. After all, isn't the long term effect what really counts. So that's it for this time, we hope the video helps, please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.